A few weeks ago, what was the number one shortage item in the supermarket? Toilet paper? Toilet paper. <laughs> Why? I will never know. But it was an issue and you couldn't find it anywhere. And here was Sage sitting on about 4,000 rolls of toilet paper. And we'd already got most of our workforce working from home. But we weren't even consuming it at anything like the normal rate. We did three things. Number one, internal communication. Folks, if you're struggling to get toilet paper, we are putting a thousand rolls into room X. Go in and take what you need. No monitoring of it, no. There's two for you, there's two for you. So we said it's trust. After a week, there was only like 30 rolls had gone. No one exploited it. No one went in and said, oh, I'm going to take loads of this stuff. So then we said, wow, there must be other businesses in the community struggling. What about uh, some of the charities we've supported in the past? So we just reached out to them and, and, you know, it's one of those weird initial calls. Do you need any toilet paper? It's not the way to start the conversation. So we started just to give it to them because they couldn't get it either. Is these, these little local gestures that mean a lot to, to our community. So first and foremost, it's about keeping Sage there, keeping the stability in people's lives and the normality as much as possible is absolutely critical. And then the second element is, where can we do more good? We, we're sitting on toilet rolls. Let's put it in their hands and let's let's trust them. But it makes a difference. Those toilet rolls were worth goodness knows what to them. And those toilet rolls still stay in that room to this day.